Hello, it's Captain Will Rogers, Director of Large Boat Sales for Boston Whaler. It's going to be my pleasure to walk you through the 350 Outreach. Follow me to the bow. Great. One of the first areas that I would like to point out is it's integrated through hull anchoring system. Not only do we have a nice quick windlass here, uh, we also have a control for it, freshwater wash down, and the tool stores right in the anchor compartment. As I make my way to this cockpit area here of the boat, we can see that we have a beautiful fiberglass bow table that's manually controlled. Under that, we have full storage. But one of the key features that I like about this boat is the flip up forward seating. Now, what's really nice about this seating is you're able to sit here and your arms and hands go right to a railing. That's really a well thought out seating area. As that goes down, you can see that you can have at least five or six people around the table, making it a very comfortable place to be out on the water for the day. As I make my way back to the garage and this beautiful bench seat here, we can also see that there is lockable storage here. So not only do we have dedicated rod storage, but in this boat, we have the optional scuba bottle storage, an igloo, two five gallon buckets, every fisherman's friend, and tons and tons of area for that additional tackle that you might need. As I close this down, we can see the sun pad here is very comfortable and it comes with two armrests on either side of you, just to give you that extra comfort uh, at this uh, particular area of the boat. The next area of the boat that I want to talk about is the head compartment. And this is one of the areas that has some of the hidden treasures of the 350 Outrage. As I come down into the head compartment, we can see that it has a porcelain vacuum flush head. But one of the things that's uh, revealed to us is where all of the Raymarine black boxes are placed in the boat. And uh, it's beautiful to be able to access all these black boxes uh, in case you have to troubleshoot any of the electronics. This boat is also equipped to be a yacht tender. So in the yacht tender package, you're gonna get a strobe light on the top and the horn is all connected to the bilge alarms. So if any time on, while you're towing this boat, the uh, water begins to set off the high water alarms, you will get not only a visual alarm, but you will also get the horn on the boat sounding out, blasting a signal to let you know to come back and check your tender. This is really great uh, when you're using this behind your mega yacht. We can see these features up on the hard top. And today we can also see that we have a Raymarine uh, radar, a beautiful ACR spotlight, a uh, FLIR night vision camera, and of course VHF antenna and outriggers. As, my way, as I make my way back to the helm, the first thing that strikes me is the two 16 inch Raymarines that are recessed into this beautiful acrylic. Um, talk about command of the boat. Here we have you know, a beautiful stainless steel wheel, our joystick piloting, our binnacle controls for our Mercury Verados, and everything is right here at your fingertips. Speaking of fingertips, we can also see where we have all of our electrical switches right at the touch of your hands. You don't have to reach through or under anything to get to them. And then of course our Vessel View 7 engine telemetry monitor, which shows us everything that's going on with your Mercury engines. Off here to the port side, we also have a glove box, which incorporates USB plugs and a 12 volt receptacle. Well, let's talk about the, continue talking about the helm area. So for those who are vertically challenged, we also have a helm step up. And you can see here that that adds a good six inches to your position. So you have a good control and view of the cockpit. On this particular boat, we have um, the helm seat is fully adjustable. And of course, all three seats are bolsters. Okay, as we make our way to the stern, uh, we can see here that we have the optional uh, bait prep station on the boat. And one of those little touches of quality that you see at Whaler is we do have a little fish scale right along the stainless steel here uh, that's quite visible, along with ample rod storage in the tulips right behind the seats. But when I pop this open, we can also see uh, that we have a little sink here for wash down. We have a bait prep uh, board and a little bait prep area here that you can fill with ice and ballyhoo if that's needed. Uh, there's plenty of storage uh, throughout the, mon the console here. And just remember that our Seakeeper 3 is also located in this area, which this boat is equipped with. 
So the next part I'd like to show you is our stern seat. And then of course, uh, it deploys simply by pulling this up and pulling this forward like so. You can see here, nice backrest and stern seat. And when the stern seat is not being used, you can also see that there is a dive ladder underneath this uh, seat. Well, the dive ladder is stored right where the dive door is. And the dive door can simply be opened like so. Right, we put the dive ladder in its holder. Got a little handle to help you come out of the water. And then of course, um, we have our cannonball holders, uh, seawater, raw water wash down right back here where you need it. We have a, a dedicated live well in the, in the stern quarter, uh, along with some more rod storage along the uh, splash well back here. So next I'd like to show you some of the mechanicals on the boat. What I'm gonna do is open up this mechanical hatch. And here you can see that all the major systems of the boat are readily accessible, whether they're batteries, uh, fuel filters, through hole fittings, pumps, the uh, engine flush system, everything is right at your fingertips and easily accessible. All right, put that back down. All right, so. With that, um, this boat is also equipped with a sure shade system for the cockpit back here to make it quite uh, nice when you're out fishing. And this particular boat has three Mercury 300 Verados that will power this boat up well in excess of 50 miles an hour. So again, it's Captain Will from the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. It's been my pleasure to walk you through the 350 Outreach.